Hey, good morning. Hey, I want to welcome you. Uh, this is our virtual Sunday school lesson uh, for um, Sunday, March 7th. But you know what? It can be watched anytime because the Old Testament lesson today is, this is the third Sunday in the Old Testament lesson is Exodus 20, 1 to 17. Now, those of you that have been in some of my Bible classes know that's the Ten Commandments. It's Well, it's the first place the Ten Commandments are shown. Um, so why don't you grab a, a cup of coffee or a cup of uh, hot chocolate, milk, whatever. Join us, and uh, we're going to take a look at the Ten Commandments. I will see you in a few slides. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put, put, put down the drink in front of the computer. My bad. Don't you have food near the computer? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, food and, and computers should never uh, go together. Anyway, the Ten Commandments are prominent in both the Jewish religion as well as Christianity. And in both religions, they are found in the books of Exodus and the book of Deuteronomy. Many of us have seen or at least heard of the 1956 movie, The Ten Commandments, with Charleston Heston and Yul Brenner. Here we see Charleston Heston holding up two movie props that represent the Ten Commandments. Here we have two replica tablets that represent the original Ten Commandments using the hieroglyphs and the known language of the time. Hi, how are you again? I'm back. Uh, so we're, we're talking about the Ten Commandments. We've seen tablets with them, uh, but what are they? What, what are the uh, actual commandments themselves? You want me to name them. Okay, I'm told I'm, I'm supposed to name them. Uh, what are the Ten Commandments? One, two, three. No, that's not what you meant. Oh, okay. All right. What we have here, we see first off that it is God himself that is speaking. I am the Lord your God. This is the one true God and speaking to the children of Israel at this point in time, which also is for us, too. Okay, so there, the first four commandments that God has given us have to deal with our relationship with him. And the first one is, hey, and this was, this was important, especially at the time, because the Israelites were uh, surrounded in, by countries that worshipped other gods, false gods. They worshipped the sun, they worshipped the moon, the stars, whatever. God says, have no other gods before me. In other words, Jehovah, Yahweh, is the one true God. And the next one is, is like it. Do not worship idols or statues. We've got an infinite God, and it's impossible to put him in a little wooden or stone statue. The third one is be careful with God's name. Treat it with respect. Uh, don't use it to swear. Don't, uh, uh, well, it's, it's his name, and it's, it's just like you wouldn't want somebody to make fun of your name. We have to treat God's name with respect. And the fourth one uh, commandment is keep the Sabbath day special. God created the earth in six days, and the seventh day he rested. That's what we're told in Genesis. Now, he wants that Sabbath day to be devoted to him. Uh, to, that's when we gather as a family. We, we go to church. Um, we may read the Bible. We, you know, it's, it's a time for us to be together and, and be with God. So keep the Sabbath day, uh, Sunday, Sabbath day, whatever uh, you want to call it, keep it special. All right, 
Well, our first four commandments, they dealt with our relationship with God. Now, these next six, they deal with our relationship with each other. Uh, the first one of those is honor your father and mother. And I know it goes without uh, saying, but uh, typically they're older than uh, us, and they know a little bit more. They've seen a little bit more, have a little bit more experience. And they're not going to ask us to do something that's not in our best interest. So keep in mind, honor your father and mother. Next one is pretty self-explanatory. It's do not murder. Um, after that, we have keep your marriage promises. Um, when our parents got married, they made promises to each other. Um, whether it be their husband, their wife, their spouse, it doesn't matter. They made some promises. And God wants us to keep those promises. Uh, the next one is do not steal. When you see something that does not belong to you, it belongs to somebody else. And we should not take that away from them. We can ask them for it, we can ask them to borrow it, but we should not just take it without, without saying anything. Uh, the next one is do not lie. When we lie, we really hurt the person to whom we're talking. And that's one of the, that's one of the most painful uh, things that happen is, is when somebody we love lies to us. So do not lie. And then the final one is do not covet. Um, this one is, we see something uh, that is not ours, but we really want it. Uh, it's like that uh, new toy of Jimmy's. Uh, we just, uh, we, we want that new toy of Jimmy's. It's, it's Jimmy's, but, and not ours, but we want it. And so we, uh, just, we fascinate it with it. We, we, it enters our mind so much. And before long, we might be tempted to steal it. So, the final covenant there is do not lie, or do not covet, I'm sorry. So while it is implied in the Old Testament, in, um, in Exodus and, and Deuteronomy, Jesus actually went out and came right out and said, it's not just our actions, hey, it's our thoughts and motives that count as well. You know, there were some religious leaders that were trying to trap Jesus. And one of them came up to him and said, Hey, Master, what is the greatest commandment? Well, Jesus already knew this. Uh, it's, it's stated in the, uh, in the Old Testament as well. But, but Jesus already knew this. He says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and the first commandment. And Jesus kicks it up another notch. He continues. That was the first and greatest commandment. And then the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. He said on these two commandments depend all of the law and the prophets. And this is, this is where we get our golden rule. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Okay. So Jesus has summed up the entire Ten Commandments, in fact, the entire law and the prophets into these two commandments. And it's a whole lot easier to remember. Okay, okay, Michael, I'm all confused. Do's and don'ts and don'ts and do's. What do we do? Yes, sometimes there can be a lot of do's and don'ts, but if you do the do's, you won't want to do the don'ts, and you won't have time to do the don'ts if you do the do's. So just do the do's, and then you're all copacetic. Okay, well, I'm, I hope all that wasn't too uh, confusing. Just remember, love God with your whole being, with everything you are, with all your strength, all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Follow those two do's. 
You can't go wrong.